Okay. After I open up your file, I notice that some stuff were uh, will not be helpful for you to go ahead and and, and work happily i will say like easily with dintopo because dintopo by nature it's just to sketch something so you want your geometry to be really as low poly as possible so what i will do first i'm duplicating this one so i don't mess up with your layout i will give you this file as well back so i will um, Throw a decimate modifier on this. Yeah, this is really like one million faces, one million triangle. It's it's not really advice to do that in Din Topo. You better leave it like for my computer. I usually leave it like under six hundred thousand. So I will decimate it. And you will see that after decimating it, it's you will not see really big changes. Kind of like it will be, it will look almost the same. Because the good thing with Din Topo is, it did it does help you to just add uh, geometry where you need it. So if you don't need, then you don't add. So. As you can see, the before and after, I will just apply it and you'll see no big change will happen on the window. It's taking too long because, because your mesh is really heavy. So let it work. Now we have it applied. Now we can work happily. The second thing that I'm finding with your, your, your file is this on screen this one that you you have put it here this um where is it yeah overlay this it's it's good for you to when you 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 you're tweaking your brushes it's good to have it but when you finish tweaking you usually turn it off because it's much more easier it's blender will be lagging a lot when you, you you're doing that i noticed that you have done that with almost all of your brushes so i usually this mostly like just my preferences i usually like to keep them like this so i can focus more on my what am i doing here and then it's it's more like taking my attention away from my my, my work so and another thing as well i found you have put here that was kind of like uh, this as well i don't like it like that i like it with the s shape i would bring it back to the normal i shape and then this one as well you put the lock x it, it when i was trying kind of like investigating your file i noticed that it was kind of like a problem okay for the problem that you're having here this is the problem the jagged edge that you're having here how will you handle it how will i approach it i will first like get the mask modifier mask uh, brush and just start painting i'm starting to paint i'm hiding those bottom geometries because blender don't have hard time with depth when you 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 sculpting sculpting blender depth you will have some problem with depth sometimes when uh, meshes have a kind of like over overlaid like this blender sometimes will tend to will, will tend to influence this part as well when you want to influence only this part the top part you, you will try to influence the bottom part as well so mask is your friend mask brush is your friend so you just go slowly masking it hiding it from your 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 work so that it doesn't step on your doesn't stay on your way when you're working so just like this paint it paint it paint it keep moving With the shift brush, shift key, you will kind of like uh, remove the mask. This is how you. This is how work. I paint normal right 
no more left click painting and then shift shift i'm kind of like smoothing it control i'm removing it yeah shift is smoothing and control i'm i'm removing it, unmasking and alt m as well it's about um, unmasking so we keep on just masking masking this is what we should be doing here Let's mask all those vertex here so they don't They don't get influenced when you're starting to work on that bit there. Sometimes as well, I usually do this, I will mask and then hide it, hide this mask part. So I will have a focus, full focus on what I'm doing. You can see on some, some of my, my, my video that I have put it here in YouTube, you will see them. So I will just work on this part so you can see how I will handle it. Masking it. So, and then I will take the inflate brush uh, remove that overlay and so something I saw as well you did uh, it was what is the topo dying topo dying topo is here yeah you put it 52 I usually leave it in 12 and then I put this one to subdivide collapse yeah smooth shading I don't use your smooth shading because I like to see how my meshes look like. Smooth shading is kind of like it's, I would say it's lying to me. I'm not seeing where are my vertexes. Now that I'm, if, just maybe, just preference as well. Some people want to see it like this, but since I know that Dine Topo is more like uh, to just scratch uh sketch sketch something so i don't usually do dying to collider so i'm taking inflate brush the divide collapse here detail 12 and then brush yeah and then i will just inflate it i believe by now you should know already that dying topo usual work with the the how do you call it uh, it should work with the the how oh, how oh, how oh, how with it the zoom how much you are zoom in your mesh it's affecting how dying topo brushes are will be working. Yeah, so and then I put blender magic brush front face only the front face only it's really something should come maybe i believe by default yeah the your s key as well your i mean your smooth brush as well it's too strong i usually put it really like i want to i don't want to smooth it high just smooth it just a little bit yeah it seems like Yeah. So I will just pull them like this. Just like this, and then I get the inflate brush again. F and then inflate it. Because if you look at your cloth, you will see that there is some there is some volume. In those parts if they are just like really squeeze like this it doesn't really it doesn't help it doesn't bring bring the it doesn't it's not really uh, realistic so give it some more volume here yeah and then about 10 minutes I think I have to stop it soon so this is how I will do it
seems like one option as well here. It's not really. Relative detail as well is something. Yeah, relative detail is something I like to work with as well. I usually feel like it's work much, much better when I get relative detail. It's more just like preference. I just like it this way. It feels maybe because I've been working with it for so long that I feel just like it's it start to feel normal, like natural when I'm working with relative detail. So one thing I will just advise as well is when you are you are having you're making your brush your new brush like when you're doing this I will advise you not to to not to just take the same brush that's the default brush and then change tweak the the, 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 the settings I'll advise you to usually leave the default brush to stay there and then just copy another brush from that copy and then tweak renaming some kind of like my own brush my own strip strip brush something like that so you will have the blender one uh, what is that yeah you have the blender one clay strip and then you have your own so the blender original one usually stay there. You, you just need it because it's 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 a good point. It, it's a good starting point. You don't want to mess up with that because I, I, actually I have a hard time to go back to initial. I don't know if you have the ability to remember all those settings, then it's good. But if you don't, like me, I don't have the ability, then I, I usually do it like, oops, cake. Oops, I usually do it like this. So I will pull it with J and then smooth it. So as you can see, this is at least this, this amount of level of detail. I will leave it here because I know that in Dintopo, I don't want to hide more detail. But if I want to, I have a very good computer that it can take really like in Dintopo more than 2 million, then I, I just keep adding I just keep tweaking this is at least the way I will go with I hope this one was really helpful for you so I'm sorry for not providing it early because I was pretty busy with other thing in life so keep blending